position is concealed. My name is Xavier, and welcome to what I thought was actually going to be Veronique. Oh, wait, I need to do fog density and stuff. Fog density zero. Let's do a bit of the old slow mo 1.3, get to show on the road. Anyway, welcome to Long War 2. Yes, that's the first thing. And secondly, the, the evac is here? I've never seen that. It's closer. I can literally dash to the. That's just weird. I wonder if that's a bug. I want to make a hard save of this just in case. All right, anyway, I was going to say welcome to me actually killing things because I have five guys. This is a real squad and I've been sneaking all around uh, these last few missions. But, you know, this is actually not that great of a squad. It's three rookies. We have one really good ranged, actually two good ranged classes. Normally I like to split up my technical and my grenadier so they don't both go on the same mission. But since I was sending just the three of them I, in the last mission, I sent them together. So I don't know. Anyway, this isn't so bad. Let's get Disco Caddy. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's get the rearmost rookie up to the door. That's gonna be Max. Max Perham. Open the door. We say nothing! Okay, this is a glass door. I think we can see through it if we just run up to it. So let's... I'm not sure if that's true. No, that's not a glass door. I'm just incompetent, apparently. Alright. Mr. K! Let's send Mr. K in. Getting it done. We'll get rookie Mr. K to open that door next turn. Let's go on the roof now. It's not so bad going on the roof when you're this close to it. Well, then again, I have to go all the way up here to get to it. Huh, no, I don't. Actually, I could go over here. Could there be something spawned right there? There actually could be, believe it or not. Okay. So let's be safe about it. Apparently, I was pronouncing De Deon. Is that right? Deon. Dayan, that's a pretty cool name, actually. I've never heard it before, but I like it. Heading out. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure literally like six people have sent me comments in the last week or so saying I've been pronouncing their names wrong for a year. It's like, guys, why couldn't you just tell me that like a year ago? It's like it's like an inside joke that everyone's in on except me or something. Anyway. No need to ask twice. Let's see uh, what we see when this turn ends. Sounded like guys right down here, which worries me greatly. Let's move the SMG first because it has a smaller detection detection radius. Let's move away from wherever they are. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Huh. This is extremely light, so there can only be a few more enemies at most. And if is that a pod of two? Really hard to say. Let's move Disco Caddy up. See if there's like a drone amongst the. Apparently not. It's a part of three and two. Okay. A lot of the schedules have just changed. Uh, Got it. In fact, they're not even. I'm with this build that I'm using. The schedules have changed. So it used to be very predictable, like three, three, one drone, one drone, and now it's a little different. It's like three, two, one, and stuff like that. So I'm not a hundred percent used to exactly what's going on here. All right, what's the, what's the plan? We have to get into the back of this, hack it, and then we're gonna probably have to engage all this stuff. And the best way to do that is just grenade spam. Why don't we just do it now and get it over with? Moving to designated coordinates. We'll grenade spam all these dudes. Location confirmed. I'm worried about going down here with gr grind. Grind is here. I didn't even point out that grind is here. That's crazy. Got it covered. Bye. All right. And so as the turn ends, what are these guys up to? Not much. Not much. Huh. Fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna move down a little bit here with Dayon. Yes, no? Okay, good. No, no additional stuff. My plan here is to try to activate just these three by themselves. Let's move Disco Caddy up to the corner. We're gonna have to pull back Mr. K and pull back Max. Or at least get them closer like that. And over here will be fine as well. And then next turn I'll attempt to activate. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Assuming this pod moves away, this could just be a waste of time. Yep, looks like it is. They're coming right towards me.
All right, well, I don't want to waste too much time with this, so why don't we just activate with the grenade here for Max? That's not the best grenade. Everything's kind of on the outer edge of it, but you know what? I think I'm fine with it. Let's do it. Here, catch! Okay, probably one more pod after all these guys if I can manage to kill them all. Not a bad grenade, Max. Three, 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 no, two. Three, three, two. Donut! Advent loves the donuts. I have no idea what that was. Okay, first up, let's see what Disco Caddy can do here. Ugh. I thought it was she was going to be able to do something useful. I don't know why I would think a squatty sniper would be able to do something useful. That's kind of a grave error on my part. Okay, Mr. K can come right up here and execute this guy probably point blank, or I could just throw a grenade. Dion has a 72 and a 53. Interesting. All right, let's hope for a little luck. Let's take this 72. Dion murder! Fantastic. All right, now let's hope that 53 can be just as good. 53, Dion in face! Oh, fantastic! I was a little worried about that, but he does have the best aim in the universe, I will say. At this point, I want to avoid getting close to the truck, because I'm pretty sure that's where the, the next pod's going to be. So instead, what I'm going to attempt to do here is throw a grenade on one of these guys. If I can get a decent location to do it. Uh, right here's not too bad, Mr. K. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> make a huge ruckus, apparently. I would much rather wound this. Uh, also note, if you shoot here or throw the grenade here, it's not going to do any damage. The the item you want to, um, or the environment object you want to do some damage to has to be highlighted in red. So I'm, I can maybe kill that with a non-sapper rookie grenade. Whatever that post is. Nope, not even close. Anyway, I wanted to wound the engineer more than the trooper because the engineer is a much bigger threat. And I think what I'm going to do here is just try to take him out completely using grinds. Actually... Let's move Grind down here. He still has elevation. And let's see if he can get a half decent flank shot. 83. All right, Grind. Time to murder. Oh, for. <laughs> Why did I. Uh, grind's like the new Incrodon. All right, I really don't feel like a 40% is worth taking. I think the smarter thing to do is going to be to use Disco Caddy's flashbang on both of them. That will prevent the engineer from being able to throw or launch any grenades. And that's good. Because then it's going to be forced to move and shoot, and it'll be terrible. Plus it has red fog. Okay, not a, not a fantastic turn, you know, but it, this is a very safe place to be with that evac point there, so it's okay. Hey, buddy. What are you... you're going to double move. I think that's a side... that's not a normal thing in long war. That's because I have red fog enabled. So it reduces their options because their aim is so low to hit that they just kind of don't know what to do uh, and end up double moving because they can't do much else. All right, that was actually pretty good. Unfortunately, oh wait, Grind didn't throw a grenade. That's actually very, very good. Although I can only hit one of them because rookie grenades are awful. Well, I guess we'll start with Dayan, 58%. Nice. He's just killing everything, the whole map. Unfortunately, he has to reload now. I don't think I've gotten a single piece of uh, loot or weapon mods yet. I'm gonna have to get down here and grab this loot next turn, it looks like. Right, I guess I could do it this turn, but I don't want to risk activating right now. All right, rookie Mr. K, Uver Laporte. And why don't you run right up? What's a safer place to actually... I guess we're just gonna go right up and see if we activate. We do not. Okay, this is a still, though. This is still a risky place to put him because if the other pod that heard that explosion comes running in, they'll get free act or free shots against an exposed Mr. K. So this sort of move used to be in Long War 1 completely safe. Not anymore. Now it's still risky. Before I take this, let's get Grind down there right in the face. He's going to have a 35 if I don't move him. What the heck? The camera just bounced. On the move. Uh, anyway, forget the 35. Let's get right, right in the face. Flank, proximity bonus, etc. We now have an 84. Grind, second time, is a charm. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, Mr. K, 81. Okay. Only winged him. Gonna need to reload soon. You grazed him, did ya? Not a huge fan of that. Especially because Disco Caddy threw the flashbang last turn and can't throw her f smoke this turn? Do I take an, a 40% or put her on Overwatch because of the high likelihood of a pod coming by? 
I had actually planned to throw the smoke with Disco Caddy, but forgot about the cooldown. It's a relatively new addition. All right, let's put Max on Overwatch. And let's just take this 40% with Disco Caddy. Ah, oh well. What you gonna do? Lupe. Lupe? Nice, Max, all you! Nope. 42%, swing and a miss. Oh, hey, there's that last pot, and it's a pot of four. Oh, God. I am not prepared for this in the slightest. Granted, it's just a bunch of little guys. No, that's what I was talking about. Whew, Mr. K. Good job just standing there. Oh, that was close. Looks like if I want to grab this loot, I'm going to have to sacrifice someone's turn. It's not going to be Dayan because he has the aim of the gods. So let's move him up and execute somebody. I don't like these half cover positions, but whatever. What? They will give us their gold? Guys, we don't have any gold. Also, you're dead. Ooh, that's sentry. But I also need, might need the smoke on Disco Caddy, so I think I'll save that for now. If this is everything on the map for sure. That's nine aliens. That's the most, or nine enemies rather. That's the most you could possibly have. Let's let's hit this sentry and also try to take out his stove or dishwasher, or whatever that is. Nope. <laughs> See how lame grenades are with explosions uh, or cover destruction rather. I do really want this loot. And Max isn't going to get any hits, so you know what? Let's uh, send board. Max in to grab this officer loot. It's probably slightly better than loot that jump from something else. Hyperreactive pupils. That's like, in my opinion, the worst thing there is. Any full cover I can move to? Nope. Well, Max, you do have the HP, and I'd rather they shoot you than Dayan, so why don't you move up? And at least be a target. Make yourself available to the enemy, if you would be so kind. Heading out. Grind, if you'd come up and be so kind as to... What's going on? Why can't I move? That was weird. I just paused for a second and couldn't move. I think I want to kill the sentry. Even though it risks destroying loot, because I just sentries are so, so scary. And then it makes sense to me here to reload and let's smoke Dayan because he only has 3 HP. Hit max while we're at it. And I do not want to lose a 77 aim. Uh, I guess he has more aim than that now because he's beyond, uh, beyond a rookie. But anyway, whatever, grind murder the sentry. Destroying his loot. But whatever. Okay, that's an okay turn. I'm not super happy with it, but all things considered, I'll take it. No flashbang, so I might have to actually shoot this zombie, because I don't know if I can shoot through all 9 HP of that sectoid. This turn, almost certainly cannot. Grind, do a barrel roll! Okay, six turns remaining. There's gonna be reinforcements, so I gotta keep that in mind. 78, 33, 33. This is all terrible here, even with Dayan's amazing aim. Grind has to reload, unfortunately. Mr. K doesn't, though. Ooh, Mr. K could come over here, get a flank shot on that sectoid, and start getting close to hack the thing. We're gonna need to start... Oh, whoops. Did I forget about Overwatch? Okay, that's all right, though. It's early in the game, doesn't matter so much. Not sure if I want to shoot the sectoid or a trooper, we'll find out in just a second. Alright, Max. What's the smart thing for you? If I move here, one, two, three, four, five tiles up from where you can throw this grenade, you should be able to hit both the guy and the sector or the uh, the zombie. You know what? Zombies aren't that scary in Long War 2. They're not like Long War 1 zombies that can melee for 10 for no reason. So why don't we just kind of graze that zombie a little bit? And also try to hit this guy and wound him. Maybe Mr. K can clean up. Wow. Okay, Max. Fantastic grenade. That was incredibly good. Okay, I have a plan here. The plan's gonna be 85% Disco Caddy in zombie face. Nice. And I want to get Dayan close enough to dispatch of this sectoid next turn. He won't need any help with that. So let's take this... 
55 with Mr. K, even though it's a little bit lower than the sectoid. What? Mr. K, you're a champion! Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna put Grind actually right here in front of the sectoid. I'll grab the loot, and this will give the sectoid something to think about, something to deal with, because I don't want him shooting Dayon. Expanded magazine, fantastic. Dayon could use that uh, very much. Now then, if I move here, will the sectoid come out here and flank me? With a shot, maybe, I don't think so. We're fine. Let's dash all the way up. We're gonna end this in style. And then there's gonna be reinforcements, and then we're gonna run away and be terrified, and it's gonna be awful. All right, Dayon, don't get panicked, because then we won't be ending it in style. Is that mind control again? No. no. I wanna go home. Well, Dayan apparently does not have the best mental fortitude given his uh, issue with sectoids this campaign. One thing I have to do this turn is dedicate someone to opening this truck. Mr. K can do it. So it's, I guess it's just gonna, he has to reload anyway. So let's have Mr. K hack the, what? Huh? Why? What? I'm gonna save and reload. All right, we're back in and I still can't have to hack the truck. What's going on with this? Okay, apparently I can hack it from this tile. I don't know what that's about. Never, I've never seen this bug before either. It's kind of really strange. But once again, I'll just submit it and maybe it'll get fixed. So a minor catch of intel or a large cast of supplies. I'm gonna go with the intel. Whoa. Oh, wow, Max, as a rookie, you're a better hacker than even, uh, I can't remember my soldiers now. Who was it that failed three times in the, literally the last mission five minutes ago? All right, let's start moving Mr. K back towards the evac. Let's get whoever this uh, VIP is here. Camille Digkale. She digs kale, is that, is that the, the deal? Move her up to the full cover. Disco Caddy 39, I mean, maybe. Let's do this, let's throw in Grind's grenade. Just soften the sectoid up a little bit. Possibly blow up the wall, I doubt it. Nah, wall's fine. And then we'll take a 39 with Disco Caddy. I think that's gonna be just good enough to miss. Whoa, okay. That was a 40% hit. All right, now this changes things up a little bit because I could just evac and leave that sectoid alone, or I could come in here with Dayan and use my favorite perk in the universe, double or both barrels. This thing is amazing. 10 to 18 damage, but it uses both of your shots. So the way these sawed-offs work is you have two ammo, you can either use a regular shot twice, or you can use both barrels once. Uh, unfortunately, I'd have to be right next to him, it'd be 100% to hit him, 100% to kill him but then we're gonna have to deal with reinforcements. And do I wanna mess with reinforcements? At this stage in the game, I really don't, because they're pods of um, four, and they oftentimes have drones. So let me see if I can just find a way out of here. Yeah, actually no, yeah, I can do it. I can get out with everyone, I think, next turn. Can I? I think so, if I just dash everyone back. And even if I don't, it'll be close enough. All right, well, my plan didn't quite work. The sectoid lives to see another day because it panicked down. But I'm fine with that. Oh, I actually lost squad sight on the sectoid. Huh. All right, that's fine. We'll just put Disco Caddy on Overwatch. In as they come. Well, there was no drone. That's good. Kind of rare in my experience. I'm so terrified of those four RNF pods with a drone that I will just run away at the first opportunity. Okay, Sectoid, just don't do something crazy like murder Dayan. That was risky, 36%. But I think we can get everyone out now. Dayan can make it. Grind. Of course, Disco Caddy Max, can you make it? Actually, no, but you can get out of line of sight, so that's fine. Mr. K can make Okay, that's it. Everyone out. We're not sitting around at all. And Max isn't quite gonna be able to make it up the ladder this turn, but he can move over here out of line of sight and he can run out next turn, no problem. Everyone else, uh, we're just gonna evac call. VIP secure and in position for evac. This is one of the things I really like about Long War 2. There's all these enemies in the map, but who cares? Like, I just wanna get out. I got the objective, I got my experience, I got some of the loot, not all of it. That's fine by me. It's a successful mission. No wounds. That's the more important thing. So I can send these guys back out on missions, keep ranking them up, keep doing better missions. This is just fantastic. And it really feels like a guerrilla war to me too. Like, we're not sitting here just 
barreling through everyone. We're like running in, hitting, and running out. It's fantastic. I should say fantastic a few more times to really convince you guys, right? <laughs> anyway, we saw out, oh, and guess what? Just in time. Flawless victory. That's fantastic. Learning Ooh. for our new recruits. Well, first, done a remarkable come on, Tigan, whenever you're done. Let's do the promotions on the rookies. So we get run and gun on Max. Not bad. He's got a terrible, terrible aim, which is fine. He's got five health and 16 dodge, 15 mobility. This is a fantastic class for Max. I don't know if Max requested assault specifically, but as you guys can probably note, I have almost no control over your classes whatsoever, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm not really going to be able to promote many people in the GTS. And the ones that I do are pretty much all going to be technicals and shinobis. So unfortunately, anyone who requested a class, you're probably not going to get it. Uh, but regardless, for Disco Caddy, we're going to go rapid targeting. This allows you to have, I think it's like a free hollow targeting once every three or four turns or something like that. Dayan, walk, fire, of course. We'll use that to finish people off who are really annoying. Grind, what do you get? You have Grenadier. 14 mobility, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. 15 health, 34 will. I'll take it. You look like an all-around solid soldier, and we need Grenadiers for sure. Mr. K, 64 aim gunner. That's not too bad. I like the 6 health, 15 mobility. I like my gunners with mobility. So we got the VIP. We got an intel package, which is at this point in the campaign going to be a point of interest. We got uh, expanded magazine. Let's go see what that expanded magazine or the POI is going to be. We should keep looking for more God's recruits. sake, Shen. So when you see Intel package as a reward, it's one of two things if you succeed in the mission. You either get a POI like this, or you get a facility lead. And I probably don't need to mention facility leads are pretty rare and you're not going to find them for months. In any event, I don't need to do this right now. I can scan that. I think they up for like a week or two. So I'm going to stay here and scan for more activity because as it is, there's literally nothing. We, we see nothing. The goggles, they do nothing. Um, yeah. <gasps> Liberation 2 in 6 days and 1 hour and we get an engineer. However, note the baseline activity, it's light. This is going to be up to 15 enemies and we only have 6, I mean 6 days and 1 hour sounds like a lot. But when you have 15 guys to fight, whew, I'm going to have to think about this. But we're definitely going on this mission and I am super excited for it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick Disco Caddy out because I feel like I need a highly mobile squad because we have to get into a cell and then get to an evac. So let's... Disco Caddy is mostly a sniper who's sitting around. Let's instead put in the brand new... Max. Max is an assault with a shotgun. That's going to be very good. Unfortunately, we have six days and three hours on infiltrating. We only have six days and one hour, so we're not quite going to hit 100. I am going to spend 30 intel to boost this mission. If it was at 100, we could boost to 150, and that would guarantee us negative two on the baseline enemy activity, bringing us from light down to very light, down to extremely light. But as it is, we're going to be just short of that, so we have a chance of getting down to extremely light, but it's not guaranteed. Also, I want to build one of those newfound AP weapons, or AP rounds, and give that to Dayan here. This will ignore two armor. If we find any drones, Dayan, with its superior accuracy, can just shoot the drone and kill it, coupled with... I was going to say coupled with the hollow target, but we're not bringing that. Uh, and then all otherwise, we have mostly SMGs to get the infiltration as low as possible. Tons of grenades here with Book of Eons to just blow stuff up. We'll kill it with Dayan. Anything else can be run and gunned with Max. And I'm going to assume that we're going to have to kill everything on this map and we're going to kill it hard. So we'll try to activate again with Matt. Anywho, that's the squad. This is the loadout. This is as good as I can do in this mission and I feel very confident about it. But we'll see when it happens. All right, now that we have that mission done, I could sit here and scan a little bit, but I actually want to swing up to the black market really quick. Now that I just blew $5 on that uh, AP round, I need to have an extra $5 to buy the GTS thing. So let's sell the hyperreactive pupils, which I don't particularly like anyway. Very good. I really want to buy the suppressor, but then I'm going to be short $10. Ooh, was that a Shinobi? Who the heck's Arthur Hudson? That's not one of my characters. I really want a shinobi though at the end of the month the, when the supply drop comes he'll disappear and be replaced by somebody else 
Can I drum up $30 to buy him is the question. Oh, I forgot to give the expanded magazine to, um, my mistake. That was just straight up stupid. I should have given it to Dayam. You know what? I'm not gonna go side this campaign. Let's sell the PCS Speed. Let's sell the Sectoid Corpse. I need to sell something else for $5, and I think what it's gonna be is actually the Expanded Magazine. Sure, it'd be nice right now, but it's not that necessary. So let's sell that up. And then let's buy Arthur Hudson, who will rename to one of the people who asked for a name but didn't send in a character. That also leaves us with $35, so I can upgrade the GTS when it's done in two days. Uh, and then let's come down here and whoop. We'll come down here and scan a little bit more, find another mission, then we'll go pick up that power. We still have a little bit more time till that thing disappears. They do disappear though, don't let them sit too long. I think it's at least a week, maybe two. Very we good. We have our trooper corpse rendered. That's two more alloys. We can now do hybrid materials. Render advent trooper. There we go. <laughs> I mistakenly started the autopsy. Scanny scan. What's next, guys? What's next? Drill a tactics school, yes! Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is immediately unlock the officer training station. Who can go into it? Alright, Disco Caddy, there's no one else to officer train, so I guess we'll just put you in, because why not? Hey, focus fire. Sounds good. Now it's time to promote a couple sh a shinobi and a technical is what I want right now. So who's the best options? For technical, I want someone who has some hit points, and for shinobi, I want someone who's fast. Very fast. Johnny Maple here looks pretty good for the fast, but also he has insanely good aim. Do I want to waste his aim? I don't know. <gasps> Ekta has crazy aim. Actually, his aim's not that good. Johnny Maple, you're going to be a shinobi, and it looks like Macronova. You have a lot... Actually, you have negative 10 defense. No, not you. Razor! Oh, yeah, Razor, you're going to be a technical. You don't have the best mobility, but you have the HP and you get 10 defense. You're going to be like a tanky technical. That's a Razor, you're in as a technical. And who was it? Johnny Maple with the 17 mobility is gonna be our new Shinobi. Looks so good. Oh, I forgot to assign my engineer, oops. I'm sure there's someone who was gonna comment on that. No. Where's our power coils? We have one we here. Stuff out, we could probably use and down there, the all right. And we scan. Ooh. Extract VIP scientist. You guys have no idea how happy I am that I just bought whoever that guy was. Arthur Hudson, because because you do not start concealed on extractions unless you're a shinobi. It's the only class that can actually start unless you go into the AWC. But wow, having bought this shinobi, I can now run this extract and maybe get a scientist even with just a single person. But first, let's rename Arthur to someone else. All right, welcome the new scruffy looking to the team. He looks pretty scruffy. He actually kind of looks like Abraham Lincoln, except black. But whatever, he looks scruffy enough for me, so scruffy looking, welcome to the team. By the way, we got a mission for you already. This is extremely light, five days. That's just perfect. So in we go. It's gonna be just you. We'll give you a piece of armor. And just in case of smoke, but you know what? That's all you're getting. Good luck, friend. Okay, now it's probably time to scan this clinic. So now I can do hybrid materials, finally. Finished up the clinic, it gives us plus three power, very good. That's actually really good. Setting course for the South African sector. And we scan. Looks like we're up to 100% on the Extract VIP mission. It's extremely light. There's, n this isn't like a one where we throw an evac, so that doesn't matter. There's no reason not to launch it now, so that's what we're gonna do next. Scruffy looking solo extract. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Uh, anyway, forget the 35, let's get right, right in the face, flank, proximity bonus, etc. We're now an 84 grind. Second time is a charm. What the heck was that?